holy crap you guys it's almost one in the morning i'm about to eat this fruit roll up for dessert it's 12 58 oh i got a bad flavor if you keep up with college football you probably know how insane this game was if not it was like four hours four and a half hours long double overtime just ridiculous but it was so freaking fun to be there and be in the student section i haven't vlogged in like over a week Kira and Emily, my roommates, went out, but I was out literally all day, so I was like, good night, because I'm exhausted. I have so much to talk to you guys about. Someone left a comment on my last video saying that I talk too much and I don't show enough, and I promise a lot will be shown in this video, but I just have to get you caught up to speed before all that. I got another snack. So if you remember in my last video, I said something about potentially going home over the weekend, and there's a slight possibility that i go home this weekend very small but we just need to see i would go after the football game and i actually did i really didn't think it was gonna work out because i thought i would have sorority events after bid day or just the following weekend i didn't think it was gonna work out but it did work out it was a really fun week and we had our first home game that saturday against nebraska and right after the game i got in an uber got to the airport and went on a flight back to la and then matt picked me up at the airport and we went straight to the usc game so it was so fun because i got to see two college games in one day and i thought about vlogging but i had so much footage already built up from the initial delay of when I got here and I had to wait so long to post that move-in vlog because it was sponsored, whatever. And I figured with all the busy craziness, it would be a good time to give myself a break. And I'm so glad I went home. It was so good to be home. Even though I've only been, I'd only been here for three weeks at the time. It felt like I had been here two months or longer. It was great. And then I got back here and I had my first sorority meeting on Monday. And that was crazy because they told us we would have to sign a lease for living in the sorority house by September. September 25th. Mind you, at the time it was September like 11th. I went Delta Gamma and there's somewhere around 140 girls that also went DG and they have a house on the University Hill, which is like where all the sophomores and upperclassmen live. And it's so cute. I'll have to show it to you guys. I'm sure you'll see it soon. But there's somewhere around 80 spots for sophomore, or I guess second year girls to live in the house and everybody wants to live in. So obviously they have to come up with some kind of system to regulate who gets to live in and who doesn't. And so they do it based on a point system and someone texted in this big group chat we have and asked if anyone didn't want to live in the house and no one responded so it's like war because they gave us a whole bunch of point opportunities throughout the week so i was just so busy constantly at the house going to all of those crazy busy every single day trying to get to class then go back to the house to get my points and it was just one thing after another and on top of all that, what was going to make this week even crazier was the fact that I was going to visit Allie on Thursday, or I was supposed to go visit Allie on Thursday. I was going to go to Texas and surprise her because it's their family weekend, but I ended up canceling my flight because I got one of the coolest offers of my whole career on social media. Kind of saying I couldn't pass up. This was something big that I was really excited about, and I had to be here for, and I was supposed to leave on Thursday, and it ended up falling through, and I was really crushed about it and sad because I had already canceled my flight and I'm sad it didn't work out but being here for the game tonight was one of the coolest things it, probably the best football game I've ever been to this morning I also went to a little town like 20 minutes away from Boulder called Lafayette and I went to the farmers market there with two of my friends we went up there because we had to go this is like the most random thing we had to go to a 19th century baseball game reenactment for extra credit for our history class and we stayed and went to Walmart and the farmers market and just had like a nice chill wholesome morning and it just felt calm and nice to be away from all the craziness because it's been in the best way possible just insane here with all the hype around football and events going on but it was nice to break out of the simulation for a couple hours i need to go shower because i am feeling gross but this was my outfit to the game i got this jersey off of poshmark it's like a kid's large and i just tucked it up a little bit and i also got this today at one of the little shops we went to and this Colorado hat. I was gonna wear it tonight, but it didn't make sense because it was a night game and the yellows didn't really match. And Kira braided my hair. It's really greasy, but I think I'm gonna do um... I'm so tired. Some kind of like workout tomorrow, so I'll wait to wash it until after that. It looks like a mullet though it's so greasy. Anyway, on the topic of things I got, I did get a second piercing. I went to this really cute place. I'll put pictures on the screen. I just popped it right here, but it's in Boulder and they invited me to come and get a piercing. And so I got my second piercing or my doubles pierced. I don't know 
the exact terminology for it. That's pretty much the update. I want this video to be like a realistic 48 hours living in a dorm because I didn't really know what to expect coming into dorm life. So hopefully this can be helpful or just entertaining. I really want to show you guys like the ins and outs of what it's like to live in a dorm because I've lived here for a month now and I've learned a lot. So I'm gonna go shower right now and get ready for bed and I'll keep you guys updated. I feel so gross. I need to go shower. Good morning. Happy Monday. Okay. We're going to the dining hall. To Did you flip off the camera? I wanted to. Breakfast to get burritos. breakfast burritos. They're so good. I'm excited. I haven't had them Hopefully, yet. I feel like I'm hyping the movies up too much. And I'm not well, probably better than whatever else we've been having. Yeah, that's so good. Thank you. Here is breakfast. We have like a bunch of dining halls around campus. This one's just the closest one to us and some are better than others. This one is not the best. <laughs> One thing this dining hall does have is like a crazy assortment of drinks. I'm back from my classes. I only had two. I had a religion class and a history class. And my dorm gets so messy so easily. I think just because it's a small space, it's really easy for stuff to get cluttered. I also feel like I'm having a bad hair day. Like I need a trim or something. The dorm, the shower water is not the greatest, but it's like we only have to deal with it for nine months. And then when I eventually like live somewhere else I can get one of those shower head filters or something. Anyway, I'm about to go over to the Delta Gamma house because this is the last week we're in this like war for points for who gets to live in next year. At the end of the week, we're supposed to sign a lease or the beginning of next week, which is binding. Like once you sign it, you can't get out of it, which is kind of nice that I'll know where I'm gonna live because people start signing leases for like apartments and houses and off-campus housing for sophomore year in the next like two months but it's kind of stressful anyway i'm trying to rack up as many points as i can that way like i can see on the list like i'm in the top 75 right now but it could change so i'm just trying to go to as much as i can and do everything i can and then later i'll go back for a chapter meeting we all have dinner before and then a meeting about all the events going on that week and updates and things like that and what's really nice about being in a sorority is that we can eat at the sorority house i think it's two or three times a week. So we get the chapter dinner plus three other meals throughout the week. We just have to go on an app and request them. And it's nice to not, or to have the option that's not food from a dining hall. I've been spending way too much money getting food off campus. So I'm trying to not spend any money on food if I can get it from the dining hall. I also have an essay I need to work on that's due on Friday. And I wanna do my laundry and clean up the dorm. Like, like I said, it gets so dirty and dusty so fast. I feel like I come back. I wipe it down in every day. Dust. This is disgusting. That's today though. I'm tired. I need to go eat. I'm gonna have lunch at the house and go get my points. When you go to the house, you just get points? It's like office hours. Like, like we go and talk to the exec members. Are you biking it? No. I'm, oh, maybe. If I can. I also have a bunch of random other things to do. Like, someone sent me something from home, so I want to write a thank you card, filming some things for TikTok. But that's all. Also, when I do my laundry, I will show you the whole laundry room situation, because that is a whole other ball game. I think that's it for the update. I'll probably go to the library and work, because I get so much done there. It's like a coffee shop on steroids, because everyone is working. Before I go, I want to show you our lovely communal bathroom. Well, it's not busy. So I share this with 12 girls. There's two toilets and two showers and it gets cleaned every single day. So it's really not that bad. But here she is. I think you can see my sticky poops. Living in luxury. Live, laugh, love. Communal bathroom. Live, vlog. It's 4.30. I had lunch at the house, it was so good. And then I went to a coffee shop with my friend Adeline and just grinded out. My essay, I'm almost done with it, but I was there for like, a couple hours doing that and we were talking majority of the time. So I didn't get that much done and I have to be back at the story house in like an hour for dinner. But this is our laundry room. Each wing has its own laundry room, but we only get two washers and two dryers. On the weekend, it's crazy busy. These are really gross though. So I'm about to wash them in the washer with this stuff. I was gonna do my clothes too, but I don't have time before I have to leave. So I'm just gonna throw these in there with the powder. I'll leave this down below. It works really well on athletic shoe material, not as well on like canvas or Converse kind of material. But if you have Hoka's, this stuff is the best. But you always find like there's been underwear in the corner, on the ground, socks. This is the collection. Thankfully our laundry is free, we don't have to pay for it. A lot of colleges have to pay to use their washer dryer, which I just think is 
psycho. But people will forget to move their stuff all the time. And then, especially on the weekends, everybody's trying to do laundry. And your stuff will just get put, your wet stuff will get put on top of the washer or dryer if you don't set a timer move it. Also, if you are on time with getting your stuff out of the washer or dryer, it will get stolen because there's no locks on the washers or dryers. And people are lame. I rotted in bed for like a half hour and got the shoes and they look way better. Okay, we're taste testing. <laughs> this is Ryan. You're in the street. I can't wait for Katie Beaver to see this. Mm. Good. That was good. Pretty good. The veggies are good. These look scary. There's so much seasoning. Is it too much? No, I think it's not I spicy. It's not spicy. I like oh, inhaled the black pepper. I'm back from my meeting and Kira won't let me turn on the light. Yeah, I'm over it. She's over it, so I have my lamps on. But I'm gonna spend the next little bit cranking out all the stuff I have to do and cleaning this up, and I'm gonna go put all this laundry in the washer. I think that we need to clean the floors tomorrow. They're really gross again. Happy Tuesday, I just got back from class. I didn't fold my laundry yesterday, so I need to do that, it's in here. And it's currently 9.43. I also did not eat breakfast. So I'm gonna make some oatmeal. <laughs> Look at Kira's sign on the wall. Today I have my 8 a.m. class, so I have to get up and get ready before my roommates, which kind of sucks because I'm getting ready in the dark. And usually I have two classes back to back, but my biological anthropology professor is out of the country, so we just have to watch the lecture today. And I also bought this frozen fruit to put in the oatmeal because fruit goes bad so quick. And brown sugar, so I'm gonna mix it all up. I also have chocolate chips and peanut butter, so I'm gonna see what I can do. And then they're doing free core power classes on the hill today and tomorrow, so I'm gonna go take a core power class with my friend Cami at like 11.30. We really need to clean and organize, which we're gonna do like today or tomorrow. I need to clean the floors, but this is our little snack station fridge. We have a bunch of stuff in here. This is Brittany the Brita. She's running low in our freezer. It's so tiny. It's literally the size of a shoebox. And then this is the real snack storage. We have so much down here. Chips, popcorn, mac and cheese, drinks. There's desserts and just a bunch of stuff and a bunch of ramen. Taste test. Pretty good, these look gross, looks like dog food. But it's good, the only thing is the frozen fruit kinda makes it cold. I think I just let it sit too long so it cooled down. It's way better warmed up. I don't know why I didn't use the microwave to begin with when I was making it at first. I think I forgot we had a microwave. I wish I could say this was better. It's not bad though, but I do miss my mom's cooking. I also have four drawers over here that I restocked with some snacks over the weekend. I went to Target on Sunday, got more of these. I'm trying to be on the healthier side because I've just eaten so much junk food. I got applesauce. These are so good. I've eaten basically the whole bag and it's just mango. And there's nothing else added. And I also got Muddy Buddies. I haven't had these in so long and they sounded so good. And I also have my stash of Go Macro Bars. I don't know what to say, but I'm so excited to do the vlog, and we have so much fun at DT. I am back and I'm disgusting from sweating so much in that workout class, but I went back to the house after for points. I got an Aussie bowl with Cami. Went back to the house for points and I just worked on a bunch of stuff. I had a meeting and now I'm back here. I need to shower and get re-ready and try to get more done because then I'm gonna go back again later because they have study tables certain days of the week and you can go there and get points and just work with other people and i always work well in that kind of environment like i was saying about the library and they're having fajitas for dinner tonight so i'm getting dinner again at the house but i'm gonna try to i don't know i just want to take a nap but the weather makes me want to nap so bad though it's supposed to rain it's just cold and cloudy and i also need to make my bed i'm telling myself that i'm gonna go to bed super early tonight in place of taking a nap but i just feel like that's not gonna happen every time i go to shower i have to take this with me it's my shower caddy because i have the communal shower this could use some reorganization so could all this i usually keep it up here but i have shampoo body scrub face wash body wash just everything i need for when i go shower and i also have to wear shower shoes i wish i would have gotten a bigger shower caddy this one's fine but all the stuff i need doesn't really fit in there mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this is the pain is, but I have to take this down the hallway. You guys, I had the best freaking meal I've had in weeks. At the house, it was so good, it was fajitas. And we had the best like Spanish rice and pudding. And there was a Southwest salad, it was so good. And then I got my essay done and all the rest of school were gonna have to do. So I'm so happy that I can just go and sit in bed. It's almost like 7.30 right now. I still have to edit the video. So that's like my project for the rest of the night. But I'm glad I showered earlier and I can just chill for the rest of the night. It's really windy, but I'm really cozy because I'm in my sweat set and i've been saying this to people all day i don't know if i said this to you guys but it feels like the day gets away from me so freaking fast like i wake up i go to my classes i do all these extra things and it's time to go to bed and it's flying by like the days feel long but at the end of them it's like i literally just woke up i also have been listening to this album non-stop all day i can't believe he got arrested and i can't believe he's dating brianna chicken fry he got out on bail but like i'm getting looks i have to go bye All the sleepers and strangers eyes Oh kiss your love a good night Lights, camera action It's so bright Okay, so I've been a little MIA in the vids, I know It's I'm, almost 11 by the way I've been doing a lot of homework I just got my period this morning I'm not feeling great, I'm tired <laughs> What's that? My nails look nice We're well, basically the same color um, Anyway Anyways, we I'm back, decided guys. that tomorrow we're gonna stop eating sweets. No, I never said that. <laughs> we're gonna just start moving. No, we don't have to stop. We just need to cut down a little bit. Because we're gonna be feeling gross and we're gonna get sick if we continue to eat this way. Guys, I had I have, um, I have a, mom. a fruit roll, two fruit roll-ups when I got back. A bunch of those Muddy Buddies. That's disgusting. Nobody wants to see that. What are you looking for? I think I should grab my pita chips. So why? I think they're gonna be a robin. Quite old. I called my mom, I called Matt. All is well in California. And I'm just gonna finish up the rest of this and then I will go make my tea and get ready for bed. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Night guys, love you guys. Subscribe. Emily is going on hour five of <laughs> Gossip Girl. I've watched like three seasons in like I think three days. So I'm really obsessed with it. But it's getting to the good part. It's getting to the part where like Blair gets kidnapped and it's like really dramatic. Really I far. think that we should get fruit and, and cashews. <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> Stop. I think we should get strawberries. I think we should get fruit and cashews. <laughs> anyway, write your day, Emily. Please. <laughs> Yeah, let Emily have her moment. I literally dropped my rice. I literally had like a little bucket of rice because like what about someone to eat at C4C? I don't even know. The C4C is our dining hall, by the way. It's disgusting. <laughs> it's a disgusting one I was referring I to. I had a little cup of rice and I dropped it everywhere. And I was like, I felt crazy going on the ground and like picking it up. So that makes my day like a three. And I have to start <laughs> my essay. <laughs> what does it do? Uh, tomorrow. She said she was gonna spend. She said she was gonna spend eight hours in the library tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. Let's hope I make it through. I won't make it through. Cheer up. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna eat a ketchup packet. I, I just don't know what to eat anymore. I'm hopping on my bed. And I don't got pants on. So good night. This is our sink situation we don't have a sink in our room but we have one in the middle of the hall and this is just gross from tea i drank before so i'm gonna wash it out and make some more before i go to sleep we also have this little common space over here and i always come out here if i need to like record a voiceover or call somebody so it's not loud or annoying in the room i'm all ready for bed and that is gonna be it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and it was a little bit insightful if you don't live in a dorm you can't even see me what it's like so i will see you in my next video love you